Yeah, that's right. Well, it's nine meters in there, so. Oh, well, shit. Fuck yeah, bud. So we're meeting with a legendary yeah. speed flyer. Never met him before, but I'm about to. My unicorn outfit. Life's. Gosh, that's the goal. Do a few, or at least one on this, maybe two if we can. And then try to go to Raptor Ridge up um, Eagle Creek, which is 2,000 feet, but less trees and more more playful. More playful. I dig it. And we can drive right to go on that one. Heck Ooh. yeah. And so I'm not too worried yeah. about it. No, I have fun with way sketchier. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this guy, though, like. We got all sorts of sticky tape badges. Only on my own self stuff. It's amazing what uh what you can do to them and still have them be literally fine. Yeah. But I mean the rest of the material looks in good shape, so I'm like, why? The other day I was like, ah, oh, I should just throw this thing away. Like I patched <laughs> this up because I could tell the brake was starting to get pulled out. Yeah. So I put some sticky tape on it and then sewed it. Back nice. in, good to go. <laughs> I was like, why send it to fucking Cloud9? They're gonna charge me 300 bucks. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. <laughs> when I could do the same thing. You're the one taking photos when someone needs to be taking photos of you. Taking we got some glorious like Don't worry, I turn it around sometimes and say hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's the house on the other side. Yeah, you don't want to land in that field. You want to be in the green grass. The yeah, that's Shane. Uh, yeah, either in the church or or on the road in that. Or right, so. a, yeah, right across from the church is Shane yeah. Wilder's house, and he's cool with us landing in there. Beautiful colors out here. Easy. I like this launch way more than the Raptor Ridge launch. Okay, see ya. Have fun walking. <laughs> we are okay. <laughs> I'm glad we got the unicorn. We got the unicorn, he's back in the car. We're not leaving him behind. No one told me I have a unicorn. No way. Yeah. We could have dual it's, unicorn. It's like this color blue, the whole thing. Alright, let's get to cleaned up all the brush right there on the other side of the hang glider launch. Nice. So you can launch right there and fly to the river. That's awesome. Whoa. Nice check. Get a little pump pump there. I need to get better at that. Yeah, Devin! Aaron, I live right off the Chumstick Highway on your way to Lake Wenatchee. That side up, and then I usually feed. Yep, 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 yeah, perfect. That works. That's what I do with my backpack. Oh, Patrick's putting on a third person mounted fusion. And it's gonna be really cool. Can you hold this in your right hand? You might be going back there. Yeah. I think it was good too, you know, like. I was like looking over like that, like that. How are we feeling right now? I feel a little face win. It's probably the best yeah, you're gonna get. Up, yeah. I'm gonna go for it. Right, go for Here it. we go. Do that, do that. Run that thing out. Oh, that was good. Did he get off? Yeah, he kicked some stuff. Woo! Woo! Good job. Is that because of. It's because of Burble. He did not wait at all. Looks like he's going for the safe, LZ. Who knows? Fucking A, Joe. He scares the <laughs> shit out of me. <laughs> you hear how he said, if you don't feel like you're getting up by uh, that rock, then you should probably set it down. He was not anywhere close there to that rock. There he goes. There he goes, homeboy. <laughs> Got a little light. 
Nice. Yeah, buddy. Dude. That was the cleanest launch this morning. God! Oh! oh fuck! Oh fuck me! Ah. Fuck! I'm fucking alive. Holy fucking shit. Holy shit. Fuck. <laughs> My fucking harness snapped and I fell out of it backwards doing a downward spiral on a rapido. <laughs> I, I don't know if I broke something, but I landed pretty fucking hard on this roof. <sighs> I think I'm good. I think I'm pretty good. But that was fucking insane. Whoo! Harness broke and I fell of it backwards doing a downward spiral. Oh, yeah. It snapped. Both of both straps snapped and I fell of it backwards and I was spiraling down. Yeah, I watched it. I thought I was gonna fucking die for sure. Dude, I thought you were too. I thought I was gonna die. Your reserve wouldn't have done anything either. It, no, it wouldn't have done anything. Yeah, I'm good. I don't even think I broke anything, actually. You're doing some cool acro on the way down.
Beautifully done. Because I was having a really hard time understanding what was going on. Yeah, buddy. Nice. <laughs> hey, you know, everybody makes worse choices. Exactly. Hey. <laughs> it is what it is, right? Thank you for being like a good example. That was my intent with my flight too. All well, the boys just took off. They're gonna go do a, a few more flights. Um, I just had the closest call with death I've ever had in my entire life. And that's saying something coming from me. When I was coming down, I did some really deep downward spirals and that had generated enough uh, G's to where it just snapped that link uh, where I was connecting to the harness and I fell out of it on both sides. Both sides snap and I fell backwards and out of it um, out of a 13 meter rapido doing a downward spiral and so I grabbed onto the risers as I was about to fall out of this speed wing going really fast at about two three thousand feet. Uh, where I would have fallen to my death for sure, 100%. I remember having to use weight shift as I was holding on these toggles to kind of work the Rapido. I mean, I was flying over cliffs and massive trees. I haven't watched the video yet, so I'm gonna do that here soon. Um, but I remember sitting up and it, it went into like a spin. I was able to steady the wing out enough where I could go and land on a roof. It hit pretty hard and so Injured my leg and my ankle a little bit, but I, I thought for sure I was going to die. I thought there was no fucking way I'm living from this. And sure enough, here I am. Uh, it, was, it was a major learning experience in my life, not only to be incredibly aware of your gear and to triple check things uh, before you launch, but also just about how precious life is in general. It was a really weird feeling to literally feel like I was falling, about to fall to my death. Um, out of the speed wing. It was, it was a very surreal experience to have and I'm so fucking happy to be here. I have such an amazing family and I have such an amazing life and it's all starting to so, go so good. It would have been a damn shame if that was spoiled because of my stupid decision. Um, but I'm here, I'm alive, uh, I'm a better man for it and I'm one to learn from things. So I'm going to learn from this one for sure. I learned many things from this, um, but yeah, I just wanted to have a little input, uh, put a little input in after uh, having that flight, because um, I didn't think I was coming back from that. But here I am. Love you all. Life's amazing. Uh, have fun with it, but don't have too much fun. Maybe have too much fun, but don't double check your shit.
I've been fine. Uh, he comes in, he does a little yeah, job shadow, like mock been interview fine. kind of thing. Cool. And he's like, I'm so you haven't yeah. flown yet? I'm like, no. I, I like, like how much have you kited? I'm like, I have a log actually, sheet, I have a hundred hours of kiting. Mm-hmm. Damn. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, wicked, sleep, wicked. And so he's like, it's bust out of this place. We went to Benjin and we were doing sats on tandem and stuff. And then the next time he called me up like a... A week or two yeah, after like that, it feels way more and um, yeah, I did my first solo like, on uh, Melonberg's yeah, Thriller. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't know what like, Thriller is. Uh, yeah. It's an acro it's wing. It's kind of kind of ridiculous, but yeah, right. yeah, it was really cool. So I I made a decision. It's a weird unconscious thing to fly out further away from the trees and rocks. I was like, you know, I said I would do a downward spiral there. I'm like, I want to be over, almost over a field. I didn't do it all the way over, oh, but I'm almost. Glad. I'm glad you did um, that. It's the little it, things it saved like that. Me. Yeah, it was it. a bunch of little things that I thought back on that saved me entirely. Taking the backpack off, having no helmet, camera. A um, bunch of little things came together perfectly. I totally deconstructed the whole flight when you guys were up there. I bet. <laughs> I went too. And I, I watched this footage and I fucking broke down and started crying. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, I should not have fucking lived from this. She gets some sense, dude. She gets some sense. I don't know how I fucked this thing up. Did you see this already, Keith? You have got to be shitting me. Full stop. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I don't know how that was working. I thought I was upside down flying backwards. I'm like, how the fuck did that even happen? If you're lucky it's symmetrical. You ain't going to the... Yeah. And so I try to sit up here. Like, you see him try to sit oh, up? Yeah. Yeah. Listen. Oh, I said, I'm going to die. <laughs> Look, that was the last toggle input. I saved oh, it nice. from going into so another dive Holy and landed in the fucking roof. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you did really good. Holy shit! That's not one that like anyone comes back from. No, I was like, I'm gonna die. Yeah, wow. I totally thought I was gonna fucking die. <laughs> That's crazy. It was gnarly on the ground too. <laughs> Wow! Yeah. I, I should not fucking live from that. Wow! <laughs> That's like... Holy shit, my I couldn't... Oh, yeah, I'm surprised that unicorn zoomed into the dude. <laughs> wow! Are you excited to eat the meal you're never supposed to have? <laughs> oh, dude. I'm so excited to have the taste of food in my mouth again. Dude. Promise I'll never take that for granted. <laughs> Wait till you have sex. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna, you and Josh are going to have a great night. Yep. <laughs> oh, fuck. Sounds about right. I'll give you what you've been waiting for. <laughs> Hey Ian, you see that shit? I didn't hit that curve. Gonna make you wish you died. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, boy. See him sitting in the harness? Agreed. Mm-hmm. And there's three attachment points. Bing, mm-hmm. bing, bing. Mm-hmm. So, before this accident, this black attachment point had a non weight bearing bar tack ran from here to here. In other words, it was set up to where these were sewn together. Ah. And it's not meant to hold your weight. It's so it's easier to it's use. So it's easier to use. Ah. But by doing that and not having it color coded like every other one, mm-hmm. when he had it hooked up like this, everything looked fine in the gear check. Because ah. this is weighted. And it just looks like it goes to that. Yeah. And you wouldn't notice at all. 
and he may have been fine with that for a while. Because it's a pretty boss bar attack, but it's not meant for holding oh weight. Or downward like, spirals. Like this is right here. Oh, God. So we did do like a proper gear check, and it was all good. So like, <laughs> the one big thing is we're like, why does that not have a different color to where it stands out? Because I, yeah. I have the same setup for my harness, yeah. and they're all bright red. Yeah. And I'm like, when I do my gear check, I'm like, one, two, three. And we do his gear check. I know to look for that. But with this black thing, it just didn't even like... Yeah, it just looks like it's the same thing. <clears> it's just like, yeah, you're hooked in. You're... It's good. Oh, my God. So once he got in that spiral, he had it hooked up like that on both sides. And he goes, bing. And when he went falling backwards, this is Velcroed. Yeah. On, look how much weight it took. Oh my god. Velcroed. <laughs> yeah. And furthermore, the plastic buckles for his reserve were clipped on here to save space for safe functionality in this area. Yeah. And we would have never imagined that that connection point would disappear. <laughs> so, yeah. in the video, you can see, like, he probably would have went for a reserve, except it was... Yeah, a full was... bridle length away because it had unspooled. It was still load bearing hooked up with the Dyneema here. It's out there. It's a really fucked up situation. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Oh my god. Yeah. That's so fucked. Yeah. I mean, okay. like, yeah. Not so. You're not dead. You yeah. too, man. Good job. Really excited, happy about it.